Oh, you get to play as Mr. Chonk this time. Hang on, I need to make Cheek stupid strong. I feel like we're not going to play as Mr. Chonk, however. You'll probably be able to switch to him. Thank you for just going, just going by this naming convention. I mean, I know who you're referring to. <laughs> we know who you're referring to, and we know that you don't play much Zelda. Well, I know who Darunia is. He does the dance. What's the name of the dance, Jacob? Uh, sorry, is dance. He doesn't get executed today. Good answer. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Judges, they're giving the hand of. Eh, yeah, why not? <laughs> had fought her way to the summit of Death Mountain to rescue Princess Rudo. There, she subdued the Goron chieftain, Darunia, who had temporarily lost his senses. Upon freeing... She gave him some Vicks vapor rub. Was to learn he temporarily he lost his senses, and his arms, people. and his legs, the and his nose. The temple was teeming with monsters that poured from the Gate of Souls. What's more... The monsters were apparently led by Princess. Now the water Zelda. temple looks actually pretty cool now, actually. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't remember it looking like that. Impa and her newfound allies journeyed to Lake Hylia. It might be a little more empty, or that was the thing. They were greeted by a Zelda True. seemingly consumed by evil. By a Zelda. It was ready to go kick Zelda's ass. Aw, oh, yeah. I mean. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, kind of a techno violin music here. <laughs> wow, she's actually giving orders too. Yeah, uh, destroy them for me. I'm Zelda. Go, my goofy fucking skeleton guys. So this is cool. So Impa's special attacks, depending on the combo, will give you a elemental modifier. So that attack I did just gave me a darkness modifier. And then if I press X to do a special attack, I do a special darkness attack. So like you can see in the top right next to the bombs, that's what element I have in storage, more or less. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think the best one is the electrical, so let me do that one. Right. One, two, three. That's electricity. And then when I do that song, I get a little sh oh, little fucker hit me. They rarely hit me, but they always do it when I'm trying to do something. <laughs> he wants to impress. Stop him. That one gives me a little storm around me. Oh, that's rad. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually. She also brought her breakdancing abilities for this. Somebody drop a beat, am I right? <laughs> she says, shattering somebody's skull with her leg. <laughs> Yes, because Sheik is definitely the one for one-liners. <laughs> I could believe it. I mean, yeah, me too. I mean, that's totally in character for him. There we go. Now, another thing I realized, when you see a monster doing one of those attacks, and you see a weapon above their head, if you use that weapon on them, it disrupts their special attack and leaves them open. But you can also just, like, go around them and keep attacking them. It doesn't stop them in any way. Have you been training? Yeah, it took like a thousand million rupees. God, so many of these Gorons are just standing around. Yeah, they deserve to be beat. I mean, so are the stall children. If you don't have a health bar, you don't have a reason. 
I was going to continue that sentence, but that covers it. <laughs> yeah. It do. Obviously not the real Princess Zelda. What if it was? And she was just like, yeah, I'm evil now. I'm tired, tired of taking your shit. But why are you evil? We did everything you said. Okay, I didn't know that the dark attack makes a black hole. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, actually. Sheik, what do you know that you've not been using ever in any game? Zolfo's face, the dice. So I don't know if you saw that, but basically Zelda was mean, and now the Hyrulean forces feel bad and lost morale. Aw, oh, yeah, she gave a harsh retort. Y'all stink! Aw. <laughs> we do stink. Our princess hates us. Showers haven't been invented yet. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even know my name, but I feel bad. She doesn't know my name, but she knows my flaws. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's any anybody giving a job interview, like, yeah, I don't, I, I barely read your application, but I know what you suck at. Like, opening up at an at interview is like, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, so, first question is, what do you think your weakest point is? <laughs> <laughs> what are your weaknesses? Uh, what? Well, uh, I mean, I sometimes stutter under pressure. Get out. That's all I needed to know. I see. Do go on. Tell me more. What are your insecurities out of the workplace? What? Why do you need to know? Is it your big fucking nose? <laughs> what is it about yourself that you don't want us to know? Because if we did, we would loathe you. Where is the Sculptula? What's the most direct way we can emotionally destroy you? Mm. Oh, maybe it's in here. Oh, yep, I hear it. What is your least favorite cereal? <laughs> uh, uh, not a fan of Chex Mix. Got it. And then, like, first day on the job, Loads of Chex Mix in their desk. <laughs> out of the box, out of the bag, just loaded into their desk. And the boss has like a box, open box in his hand and he's like stuffing his face like... Chuck a desk. Great work yesterday. We're gonna fit in nice and well here. Dumps the rest of the checks on him. <laughs> As he's dumping all the checks, it's just like, I want you to overcome your weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> if that entire desk is not eaten by tomorrow morning. And I don't mean the checks, Mix. <laughs> now, eat your mattress. You know how they say, eat your fears? No. 
I'm afraid of the dark. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> just consumes, just sucks in and the lights turn on. Turn off the light, your test has begun. <laughs> now for the real interview. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been working here for a week. <laughs> I've been testing you. I'm glad we started this nonsense in this mission, because if I had to edit in the middle of that, viewers would be so confused. <laughs> Thanks for the five bucks, Gregory House. You know how they say, eat your greens? Casually <laughs> slides a picture of the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> this is your target. <laughs> you, you know, I actually kind of like this boss character. <laughs> Find him and eat him. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Consume Christmas. Now I need you to go visit the local pediatrician. Here's a sword. What? <laughs> he once said my child was overweight. I'll make him underground. <laughs> or rather, you will. Be creative with it. Never do your own dirty work. Hands a shovel. <laughs> Clean my garden. <laughs> he takes the shovel, he goes to the garden, starts digging a hole, he finds checks, and he's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Damn, Liz Alphos. I'll never be rid of you. I don't, I don't even know why I selected checks, because I, I genuinely do like checks. Me too. But it's just his just his least favorite cereal. <laughs> like what I used to like doing when I was a kid was like I used to like putting sugar in it to make it sweeter. But uh, one time I was visiting over my aunt's house, I went to go grab the checks, and then I went to uh, grab what I thought was sugar, and I put it in my bowl, and then when I stirred it up and I took one bite, salt. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. How was it? Oh, it was amazing. I uh, nearly threw up, and my uncle laughed at me, and he was like, you were trying to find the sugar, weren't you? And I was like, yeah. I should try that. Salty checks. Well, I don't recommend it, but uh, if you want to challenge your taste buds, go for it. That's what the boss likes. Salty checks. And then, like, if you put sugar and salt, the salt will only boost it. Because <laughs> that's what salt does to your taste buds. Sorry to ruin the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was just like, I, I, I have nothing else to add to this Jax conversation. Because I had a story, that's an interesting fact. More gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sometimes there, there just is no more bit. Not because you killed it, it's because it, it reached its conclusion. I mean, with us, the bit will keep going until someone kills it. <laughs> exactly. I think that that's my whole shtick. Eventually, I'm just gonna- y'all are gonna get tired of me. I'm just gonna kill myself. Wait. No! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Jake. <laughs> it's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that jokes! 
<laughs> See ya! <laughs> no! It's not what I meant. Figuratively. <laughs> I am so hyped for Star Fox. Good, Ketholdalum. Wait. Ketholdum? I added an L in there. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> We've already recorded a few parts. We just want to get a few more done before we begin uploading it. That's why we did Pokemon Snap. Yeah, it was on pause because I actually uh, am currently in Minnesota because I moved there. Yeah. Which, by the way, uh, thank you to everybody on my Patreon for supporting me. I will be leaving it open, despite the fact that I will be looking for employment here. It'll be a little tip jar. If you want to pull out now, I have no problems with that. If not, then I guess you could just keep supporting me if you'd like. How's the weather up there? Oh, go ahead. I mean, well, I mean, right now it's summer, so it, it's honestly pretty good. I, I actually like it. Today's probably been maybe the coldest, but <laughs> I say cold like more like, oh man, I don't have to crack open a window today, but I'm still wearing a t-shirt. Oh, it's been fucking warm, gross, and hot, and muggy. Oh, anyway, Carrot Gear said something neat. Yeah, uh, Karakir asks, uh, did you get to visit the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota yet? No, I have not. And I imagine that it is going to get uh, colder in winter, as every Minnesotan I've encountered has told me. But I do have my jackets and stuff, and so I'm not worried. I feel like Dakota may be the coolest thing in uh, Minnesota. Hell yeah. Like, oh, the twine! <laughs> It keeps getting bigger! <laughs> you know, like a tumor. <laughs> Jacob mentioned living in or near Florida. <laughs> yes, I live in Tampa. I live smack dab in the middle. It's fucking hot and disgusting right now. Saved your life, Rudo. Oh wow, just, just barely. I kind of wasted that, but I guess I'm going to wreck the gatekeeper. <laughs> he was like, oh good, a moment to breathe. No, it's worse. Hello, Gorons, they're ready. Are you sure? <laughs> I brought a rock to the water temple. <laughs> oh, I carried this thing all the way from my yard. Uh, that's great. I literally soloed this mission. <laughs> His name is Stefan Diggs. Okay. <laughs> oh, evil Zelda. Look how cool she is. I was hoping they would, like, scribble evil on it with, like, an obvious sharpie. <laughs> Zelda summoned King Dodongo. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, okay. She could just do that, I guess. <laughs> I've always been able to. Sounds like a kid fights. Like those kid pretend fights. I su I summoned King Dodongo out of thin air. Oh yeah, well I have this giant bomb that can crawl into your mouth and is also a Super Saiyan. I summon Godzilla and uh, Godzilla's dad and Godzilla's grandpa with a gun. <laughs> it was from the World War II era. <laughs> well, I called my mom. 
<laughs> Isn't that just regular Godzilla? No, shut up. It's like Donkey Kong. How Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong was Donkey Kong, Cranky Kong, and Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> See, J Jacob, I imagine you're in front of a chalkboard with, like, an equation, like, you see, Donkey Kong was Donkey Kong, to which Donkey Kong was also Donkey Kong to, to Cranky Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong Jr. was actually Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Country, and then Cranky Kong in Donkey Kong Country was Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong. Ow. <laughs> Game of Thrones, oh. Tropical Freeze. What? Who? It's a whiz <laughs> uh, I mean, that's just all of Game of Th Thrones, at least in Winterfell. Wait, whiz Oh my god, Sheikah's Wonder Woman! No, it's Zelda. Aw. Uh, at least she's wearing pants. <laughs> and it was like, I'm a fucking idiot! <laughs> wow! Wait a minute, that's a whiz -row? I thought it was whiz -robe. He's based off of Wiz. Well, the name is based off Wizrobe. He looks more like a Poe. Oh, okay. So that's just his name. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is this very specific, like, character kind of Wizrobe type thing. <laughs> it's really that was a really cool noise the portal made while it was closing. <laughs> it sounded like gargling, but <laughs> wow, this water temple is so realistic. <laughs> They even have real old men who gargle water. Wow, what are you calling me? <laughs> Christ, where the fuck is this cough coming from? And they cough too. Cough, cough, cough. <laughs> I'll lose all my vacation time. Oh no.